Hey everybody, welcome to my suburban oasis. My name's Soleil and I garden in his own 5B in Mid Michigan. To everybody who's a new subscriber, welcome. I appreciate you so much joining my channel. It's a great place to exchange lots of information about plants and we share all sorts of things in the comments. So feel free to chime in anytime, I love it. And I try really hard to respond to everybody's comments as much as I can. Um, it's getting a little bit harder as there's more of you, but I certainly enjoy um, the banter. So I hope that we can continue to do that. All right, well, I have a really exciting video for you today. I have a clearance plant haul. And so because of that, um, and because of some of the questions I've gotten from you, I thought we'd do something just to scotch different and start this one off by telling you a little bit about how I choose a plant from clearance and why I chose these. So um, it's important to me when I go to a shop and I'm looking to determine whether or not something's a good buy when it's on the clearance rack is how much I need that plant. Like, is it something that's gonna fit into my landscape? So it's really important to think ahead some of the holes that I might wanna be filling, some of the plants that I might wanna replace, or some of my future plans that I might have around swapping out plants. That way, when I buy something, if it's on clearance, it's still a good deal because I know I'm going to use it. Um, it doesn't always mean that I have space in my garden for it, but it does mean that it's something that I really like and I plan to find space or I have an idea of where it's going. And I also have a space that I know is a good site for it. So I know it will go with the uh, soil that I have. I know it will go with the amount of light that I have. And I know it's going to fit in my growing zone and whether I'm going to use it as an annual or as a perennial. Another thing that I look for um, when I am searching for new plants is to look for whether or not there is new growth on something. So for example, on this first plant that I got, I'm going to show you is a Lenten rose. This is a hellebore. For those of you who follow my channel, I absolutely enjoy hellebores a lot. And so you can see some of these smaller new growths that are happening in the inner circle here. Now, it can be a little bit trickier on some other plants. So I'm gonna find another one for you just to show. So this here is a salvia. Ooh, I'm gonna grab a different one here just so I can get a good, a good look in. This is a salvia and what I wanna show you here is that there is some new growth in the middle along with some blooms that are just getting ready to bloom. So it may be just as small as some small green growth at the bottom of a stem. And that tells you that it has some good root system going on. All right, another thing that I look for is also what I just mentioned, which is a good root system. And uh, sometimes you can see them coming right out the bottom. And if they're white and they're coming out the bottom, that's great. If you can't see them coming out of the bottom, feel free to, you know, pull, pull it out of the pot and take a look. Most white roots mean that it's a good and healthy root system. Another thing that I look for when I'm picking up clearance plants is plants based on how their pot weighs. And this one sounds a little bit funny, but if a pot is really, really light, that probably means it hasn't been watered. And so if it looks like it's really droopy or dry, it could be a result of just not having enough watering. And if it's got that new growth going on it and those nice white roots, I know I can bring it home, give it some water and it's gonna get happy. Um, so those are, oh, the other thing I look for is if it's really heavy on the opposite end. So if it's really, really heavy, that means it's probably overwatered. Those are harder to save plants than the other ones. They might look a little yellow. They might also look droopy. They may even have brown leaves on them. Those can be a little bit harder to bring back, but it is possible as long as you know that that's the issue and you let it dry out a bit before you even put it in the ground. All right, well, let's get started looking at some of these awesome plants. This first one I wanna talk about is the early bird fizzy dianthus. I got two of these in an earlier video. These were originally $8.48, so that means that they qualify for a $4 purchase, which means they're more than half off. So I saved, let's see, $4.48 each, and um, so I saved about $9 on two of these plants and spent $8. These are early bird fizzy dianthus, as I said, 
These require direct sun, six hours, and so that's full sun. They like it semi-moist, and they get about four to six inches high by four to six inches wide. So not super big, but they bloom all spring, summer, and fall. So that's one of the reasons I absolutely love dianthus, and you'll see them around my garden in many different places. These are just hardy down to a zone five. So I got two of these. And the other thing I'm gonna do in this video is I'm going to really quickly kind of clean these up a bit so that they're ready for planting when I'm ready. So I'll clean them up. I'll let them set to the side for a couple of days just to rest before I put them in the ground. Or maybe just one day because I do have plans to plant tomorrow because it has been like in the 90s here with a harsh blowing wind that feels like a hot blow dryer every single day and I feel like all of my plants are getting fried. But tomorrow it's gonna to be in the 70s, so it's an ideal day to get a couple of these plants in the ground. And so I'm gonna to try to do that and I will try to film it as well. So all I'm doing right now is cutting off all of the spent blooms or the ones that look like they are no good. And what this will do is help to push some new growth for these. And I know many people show their clearance plants in videos, but I also just wanna show you why I choose them and what I do with them. So that's about what it looks like when I'm done clipping it. And that will help force some new growth along with some new blooms. Let's talk about this hellebore now. Just like I said, I'm super excited about uh, this video because I got some good deals. This is a Monrovia hellebore. This is a pink frost Lenten rose. And these are amazing because they're semi evergreen. They have really beautiful foliage, as you can see. They make a beautiful shade plant and they bloom at a time when very little else are blooming. This one is called the pink frost Lenten rose and it will go all the way up to partial sun. They do like partial shade as well. And they will tolerate full shade, they just don't bloom quite as well. They like three to six hours of morning sun and they require very little watering, which is a fantastic thing because you can put these in a drier shade area, which is always a problem for many of us. These are hardy down to zone five and as i said these bloom in like the winter spring really late winter or really early spring depending on how your winter is and they're also deer resistant so they are perfect for growing um in the shade and i absolutely adore these there is as i said some older foliage on these so we'll just get going on this All I'm doing is clipping off the big older foliage on the outside of the plant. And that's going to give this new foliage all the energy that it needs to push out further and look fantastic. Now we'll just clean up the rest of them. Oh, by the way, I got these for half off because they're $24.98 each. So normally that's a pretty average price for hellebores, especially if you buy them in mail order, but they are often much smaller than this and aren't really well established because hellebores, hellebores grow really slowly. So this is a great deal because I got them half off, so about $12.50 each, so fantastic. Mm -hmm.
So this next plant that I have is called the Rose Marvel Salvia. This one I already have in my garden. Many people love it. I love it. It's one of my favorite salvias. I say that I love salvia a lot. You're going to see a couple other salvias in this video. It's a perennial and it takes full sun. And this is one of the larger blooming pink uh, salvias. And it is deer resistant as well. It is, as I said, full sun and the watering needs for salvia is low. So it's great for dry weather like this. I haven't had to water my salvia even though it's been incredibly dry. These get 12 inches tall to 12 inches wide, maybe a little bit bigger, and it blooms during spring and summer. So quite great. It is hardy down to, I believe it's a zone four, down to negative 30 degrees. So these are really easy care. And what I will do to these is just really trim them up and get them going. Some of this trimming looks drastic, but I'm telling you this is what's best for the plant. And you've seen my garden, if you've watched any of my garden tours, and you know most of those plants I bought on clearance. So that's what these look like when I rehab them. And feel confident about the fact that I'm telling you that these will rebound really nice. I forgot to tell you guys how much I bought these for. These are $12.98 uh, and these are a brand name so they're a little bit more expensive of a salvia but they're also really wonderful and I enjoy them so much so they're worth it to me. These were $7 a piece and I got three of them. This is another one where you might not buy it because you're not sure it looks so great and so I'm going to show you the center of it. All that tiny little growth is just waiting to burst forth with life. Just like always, we have a really nice breeze, or should I say wind while we're filming this, so hopefully we're not catching it on the mic. Uh, it seems like we've been doing fairly well lately. So we have another salvia to share with you. Uh, this one was $4.98, so that meant it was in the tier that is actually only $2. So that's a really good deal for a salvia. This is New Dimension Rose Salvia. I love this size pot. These are the ones that are grown for Lowe's specifically and I see lots of new growth down at the bottom. There's actually some blooms that are setting up top, but I'm gonna clip it back because it's gonna be a little bit stressed in the ground. We don't have a lot of uh, uh, rain in the forecast. So I'm gonna take the tops off here. And that way it'll get settled in and have some time to recover and recuperate and adjust to its new living conditions before it blooms. So I love this size pot. The $4.98 always goes down to $2 when it's on clearance. Awesome deals for perennials. I got one, two, three, four of these. These are the New Dimension Rose Salvia. And these bloom from summer to fall, so they're a little bit later blooming salvia. And they grow about 12 inches high by 18 inches wide and they are hardy down to zone five. And again, really good on water. I have some of these already and I'm just gonna make some bigger groupings. So I'm excited for that. Let's clean the other two up or three.
all four are done. And so what we'll do um, is in the future, we'll actually follow up with you so you can see some of these plants. And um, you know, I always do garden tours, so you'll be able to see how they're coming along. It's gonna be great. We might even do a special tour that's just dedicated to clearance plants, which again would be almost my whole entire garden. <laughs> Um, all right, so this one's a fun one. I only found one of these. I was kind of sad because uh, I would have loved to have three, four, five of these. This is the Blue Note Pincushion Flower, which is also known as Scabiosa. Scabiosa. It sounds kind of gross, but it's a beautiful uh, pincushion flower. And it blooms in the summer and fall. So it's a pretty continuous bloomer. And this one was also $4.98, so it was marked down to $2.00 and it gets about 12 inches tall by 12 inches wide as well and it's hardy down to a zone four this one actually has quite a few small blooms that are uh, or buds that are just getting ready to bloom so um, this one is going to be a little bit lighter of a cleanup So one of the other things that I'll tell you right now is that because we've had a lot of wind and it's been hot, it's going to be really hard for nurseries and big box stores to keep up with their watering. So probably in the next week or two, you'll see a lot of clearance plants put out and they'll be put out basically because they've been overheated and underwatered. So um, a good time to go check out your stores in the next week or so, maybe even in the next few days, depending on what the temperatures in your area have been. You've seen I've gotten these before. These are my Easy Wave series petunias and these are the purple version. And these are full sun, these are annuals. So these are one of the few annuals that I got. These are originally $5.98 and so that makes them $4. Now normally I wouldn't buy these for $6 um, and I wouldn't be all that impressed by a sale for $4 but I wanted to get some more of these because I already have some. And when you buy multiples of these and save $2 on each, like I got five annuals, that means I save $10 overall. So I'm just gonna trim these back to help them bush out. And this fall, after they're done blooming, I'm gonna try to save some of the seeds. So these are going to be some wave petunias. They get really wide, about 39 inches wide. So that's over three feet wide. They grow a lot. Next up, we have some creeping flax. And these were $4.98. These are called Drummond's Pink Creeping Flax. And I got these because I bought some of these earlier this year on clearance. They're doing pretty good and I'm happy with them. And for $2, I thought, well, I hope when I go back there next time, there'll be some left and I can get some more, but they were gone. So I went to a different store today and they had some and so I snatched them up. So these were $2 a piece. These are perennials and they are full sun and they grow about three feet wide eventually. And they are six to eight inches tall. So they're a great ground cover and they're hardy down to zone three. So a super hardy plant and an excellent spring bloomer. I really don't need to do anything to clean these up. If I wanted to, I could cut them back kind of hard, like clip off some of the creeping stuff. <laughs> I don't know, branches, I guess, um, like this. And all that would do would be to help to, you know, make this grow a little bit bushier. So I'll just show you what that would look like if I was to do that, but I'll probably just leave the other ones because it's not a big deal but I'll show you what that looks like in case that's something you decide you want to do. Just kind of trimming it up, taking some of this brown stuff off. And then that just really forces some nice new green growth. And the other ones that I have are growing really well. All right, more salvia, you guys, surprise. So this one is one that I don't actually have already though. So I'm excited to try it. It's called Salute Ice Blue Salvia. 
and I have a sky blue, I think it's called the sky blue, no, it's called crystal blue salvia. So I'm interested to see how this one differs from it. I think it's a little bit more lavender, but I had one salvia die out in my front sun garden that was um, symmetrical to another one. And so unfortunately now it looks a little bit off and it, I think it just died off over the winter time. Maybe it got too wet. We had a really, really wet spring and salvia don't like to get too wet. So I'm going to um, dig up the one and replace uh, and put these in place of both of those. And this was $7.98. So again, a really good deal for salvia because that means that I walked out of the store with each of these for $4. So basically like half off. And uh, obviously they don't look good, which turns a lot of people off. And you can see I'm having to do a little bit of work here, but for me, it's worth it. Cause I don't know about you, but I garden on a little bit of a budget, try not to spend too much. I end up spending more than I want anyways. So might as well do it on a deal. So these are hardy down to zone four and they grow 18 inches tall by 18 inches wide. So a little bit taller than some of the other plants that I got. And it's important to uh, definitely have plants of different heights in your garden because it definitely makes for a lot better interest. We're just going to cut all this top off here. And I'm going to show you the inside of what this looks like. Just so you can see how significantly I have cut those two back. And I'll, I might let these rust a little bit before I plant them out in the garden just to make sure that they're going, growing back strongly before that. These are two pink pom-pom dianthus. I have some of these already. I'm going to plant these out and about in the yard. Each of these I got for $4 and I've trimmed them up a little bit already and um, they're looking pretty good. These were $8 originally. They're hardy down to a zone five, which is where I am. And they're eight inches tall by 12 inches wide. So even shorter, love these for the front of the border plant. Next up, two annuals. These are Scaviola. These are called Whirlwind Pink Fan Flower. Uh, originally $6, so they are $4. $4 for a four inch annual is not fantastic, but it's all right because it's what I wanted and it's better than $6. And like I said, I got five annuals, so I got $10 off. So I'm just gonna snip off some of the broken branches and trim them back a little bit because they're a little bit leggy. That will help to push some growth out from the center. And voila, looks pretty healthy, doesn't it? You just can't see the blooms. But these are really gorgeous annuals to have and they're a beautiful color of pink. So I highly recommend them. I wasn't sure if I would like them when I first got them last year, and here I am growing them again this year. Well, I think I've covered all the clearance plants. The only thing that's left for me to show you is the two plants that I bought that weren't on clearance. I went to Walmart and I found nothing that was on clearance. Somebody suggested I try it, but we don't really have a very good plant selection there in my area. So um, I was excited though to find these penstemon. Aren't these gorgeous? They are called Beard Tongue Red Riding Hood. 
and they attract bees, butterflies, and hummingbirds. And I actually don't think they really look red. To me, in person, they're more of a coral pink. So these are a full sun perennial, and um, you really don't have to water them unless there's a really dry period. Uh, I have some other pensamen like this in my garden. They're called pristine blue. They're just a different color and I like them a lot so far. So I thought I'd pick these up. They were $8.48, which I thought was a fairly decent deal. They bloom early to late summer. So that's a fairly uh, good bloom period as well. So these are hardy down to zone five, which is me. So I'm excited to try these out and I know exactly where I'm gonna put them. Well, I hope you all have enjoyed this uh, little video about all the clearance plants that I got and learned a little bit about how to clean up and rehab your perennials or annuals that you find on the clearance rack and which ones you might want to buy because they're a good deal. Definitely avoid some if they've got those brown roots or they just look like they're dead already. Thanks so much for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye!